And now we are seeing more students looking for cheaper alternatives. And now more than ever, a number of trade industries are experiencing high demand for qualified workers, resulting in training centers seeing a spike in enrollment. Only on News 5, Nick Foley joins us now from one such facility in Euclid. Hi, Nick. Hi, good afternoon, guys. We are at the Lincoln Electric Welding and Training Facility, which just unveiled this brand new building today uh, with three times the amount of training stations that it had before. So why this growth? Well, with high demand means that more students are now choosing the trade industry as a way to get into the workforce quicker and cheaper than with a conventional four year degree. The costs are staggering, nearly $40,000 for tuition to attend an in-state college for four years, more than $120,000 to go to a private university. That has more students like Andy Haritanovich flocking to trade schools like the Lincoln Electric Training Center. Here, welding prospects pay about $10,000 for a comprehensive program that prepares them to walk right into an entry-level job in the field. There's a lack in uh, trades right now, so the demand's pretty high, so getting a job, that's more likely uh, at this point than it used to be. Trade workers like plumbers, electricians, and construction workers are in high demand all over the country. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says welders will typically earn anywhere between thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars in their first jobs, but if they continue seeking training and schooling, those salaries can easily double. They may be starting right now as a, what we might define as a welder, but in a couple years they could be the robotic technician. They can go to more training and become an inspector. So we see this more of a catalyst that they can grow from and not necessarily an endpoint of where they would stop. And that was more than enough to convince Andy, who says he dabbled in the four-year option like some of his friends, but believes the trade route is better suited for him. They had gotten their bachelor's degrees, but it didn't really help them. Hopefully, you know, trade as of right now is in high demand, so it should help me out. Now, as for welders, the Cleveland region is among the highest demand areas in the entire state for welders, in fact, paying more than $6,000 more than other spots in the state for entry-level welding jobs. So it's proof positive that the demand is certainly there. Reporting in Euclid, Nick Foley for News 5.